Hey homies, so recently we've lost a national treasure in Betty Marion White Ludden. You know her better as Betty White. The legendary, the timeless, the forever American golden girl, Betty White. So let's get into this. Betty White was an American actress and comedian, a pioneer of early television with a career spanning over eight decades, which just so we're all clear, each decade is 10 years, eight times 10 equals about 80. My math might be off, but last time I checked, it was definitely more than 78 and less than 81, so I'm gonna go with 80. And just to be in television, or media for 80 years is absurd. As a pioneer of early television with a career spanning over eight decades, White was noted for her vast work in the entertainment industry and being one of the first women to work both in front of and behind the camera. She was the first woman to produce a sitcom in the United States titled Life with Elizabeth which contributed to her being named Honorary Mayor of Hollywood in 1955. White is often referred to as the first lady of television, a title used for a 2018 documentary detailing her life and career. After making the transition to television from radio, White became a staple panelist of American game shows, including Password, Match Game, Tattletales, To Tell the Truth, The Hollywood Squares, and The $25,000 Pyramid. She was then dubbed the first lady of game shows. White became the first woman to receive the Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Game Show Hosts for the show Just Men in 1983. She was also known for her appearances on The Bold and the Beautiful, Boston Legal, and the Carol Burnett Show. Her biggest roles include Sue Ann Nivens on the CBS sitcom The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Rose Nyland on the NBC sitcom The Golden Girls, and Alka Ostrovsky on the TV Land sitcom Hot in Cleveland. She gained renewed popularity after her appearance in the 2009 comedy film The Proposal and was subsequently the subject of a successful Facebook-based campaign to host Saturday Night Live in 2010, garnering her a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Comedy Show. White earned a Guinness World Record for Longest TV Career by an Entertainer in 2014 and in 2018 for her lengthy work in television. Basically, that means she gained the longest TV career by an entertainer and then beat her own record like four years later. Yo, if you set the record, beat the record, rebeat the record, and you beat yourself later, come on. Like, that's pretty dope right there. White received eight Emmy Awards in various categories, three American Comedy Awards, three Screen Actors Guild Awards, and a Grammy Award. She has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and was a 1995 Television Hall of Fame inductee. Betty Marion White was born in Oak Park, Illinois on January 17, 1922. She stated that Betty was her legal name and not a shortened version of Elizabeth. She was the only child of Christine Tess, a homemaker, and Horace Logan White, a lining company executive from Michigan. Her paternal grandfather was Danish and her maternal grandfather was Greek, with her other roots being English and Welsh. Both of her grandmothers were Canadians, by the way. White's family moved to Alhambra, California in 1923 when she was a little over a year old and later to the Los Angeles area during the Great Depression. To make extra money, her father built crystal radios 
and sold them wherever he could. Since it was the height of the depression and hardly anyone had a sizable income, he would trade the radios in exchange for other goods, including dogs on some occasions. Yo, I mean, like, radios do spread knowledge and voices, but a dog is a man's best friend. So if I could change a voice for a new friend, why not? White attended Horace Mann Elementary School in Beverly Hills and Beverly Hills High School, graduating in 1939. Her interest in wildlife was sparked by family vacations to the Sierra Nevadas. She initially aspired to a career as a forest ranger, but was unable to accomplish this because women were not allowed to serve as rangers at that time. Which, in case if you're wondering, looking back from the year 2022, that seems a little sexist. But then again, what wasn't back then, right? Instead, White pursued an interest in writing. She wrote and played the lead in a graduation play at Horace Mann School and discovered her interest in performing. And thank God she did because that's why we love her so damn much. Inspired by her idols, Jeanette McDonald and Nelson Eddy, she decided to pursue a career as an actress. White won five Primetime Emmy Awards, two Daytime Emmy Awards, and received a Los Angeles Emmy Award in 1952. White was the only woman to have received an Emmy in all performing comedic categories and also holds the record for longest span between Emmy nominations for performances. Her first was 1951 and her last was in 2014, a span of over 60 years. In 2015, she received the Lifetime Achievement Daytime Emmy. She also won three American Comedy Awards and two Viewers for Quality Television Awards. She was inducted to the Television Hall of Fame in 1995 and has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at Hollywood Boulevard alongside the star of her late husband, Alan Ludden. In 2009, White received the TCA Career Achievement Award from the Television Critics Association. White was the recipient of the Pacific Pioneer Broadcasters Golden Ike Award and the Genie Award from the Alliance for Women in Media in 1976. The American Comedy Awards awarded her the award for Funniest Female in 1987 as well as the list of Lifetime Achievement Awards in 1990. The American Veterinary Medical Association awarded White with its Humane Award in 1987 for her charitable work with animals. The City of Los Angeles further honored her philanthropic work with animals in 2006 with a bronze commemorative plaque near the gorilla exhibit at the Los Angeles Zoo. The City of Los Angeles named her Ambassador to Animals at the dedication ceremony. In 2009, the Screen Actors Guild, aka SAG, announced plans to honor White with the Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award at the 16th Screen Actors Guild Awards. Actress Sandra Bullock presented White with the award on January 23, 2010 at the ceremony which took place at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles. She was a Kentucky Colonel. In 2009, White and her Golden Girls castmates, B. Arthur, Rue McClanahan, and Estelle Getty were awarded Disney Legends Awards. White was inducted into the California Hall of Fame in December 2010. In 2010, she was chosen as the Associated Press's Entertainer of the Year. On November 9, 2010, the USDA Forest Service, along with Smokey the Bear, made White an honorary forest ranger, fulfilling her lifelong dream. Come on now, dog, that's pretty dope! White said in previous interviews that she wanted to be a forest ranger as a little girl, but that women were not allowed to do that back then. When Wright received the honor, more than one-third of the Forest Service employees were women by that point. 
In January 2011, White received a SAG Award for Outstanding Performance by a Female Actor in a Comedy Series for her role as Elka Ostrovsky in Hot in Cleveland. The show itself was nominated for an award as Outstanding Performance by an Ensemble in a Comedy Series, but lost to the cast of Modern Family. She won the same award again in 2012 and later received a third nomination. In October 2011, White was awarded an honorary degree and White Doctor's Coat by Washington State University at the Washington State Veterinary Medical Association's Centennial Gala in Yakima, Washington. A 2011 poll conducted by Routers and Ipsos revealed White was considered the most popular and most trusted celebrity among Americans, beating the likes of Denzel Washington, Sandra Bullock, and Tom Hanks. I mean, if I have to choose between who's more who's more approachable between Tom Hanks and Betty White, yo, homie, I'm gonna go with Betty goddamn White every goddamn time. Betty White, you is a saint. You were a saint. We miss you. We love you. White was a pet enthusiast and animal welfare advocate who worked with organizations including the Los Angeles Zoo Commission, the Morris Animal Foundation, African Wildlife Foundation, and actors and others for animals, which in, which basically means actors and others, as in non-actors and other than actors for animals. Her interest in animal welfare began in the early 1970s while she was producing and hosting syndicated series, The Pet Set, which spotlighted celebrities and their pets. It was basically a set of celebrities and pets. As of 2009, White was President Emerita of the Morris Animal Foundation, a foundation where she served as a trustee beginning back in 1971. She was a member of the board of directors of the Greater Los Angeles Zoo Association since 1974. Additionally, White served the association as a zoo commissioner for eight years. According to the Los Angeles Zoo and Botanical Garden Zooscape member newsletter, White hosted History on Film from 2000 to 2002. White donated nearly $100,000 to the zoo in the month of April 2008 alone. White served as a judge at the 2011 American Humane Hero Dog Awards ceremony at the Beverly Hilton Hotel on October 1, 2011 in Los Angeles. White served as a judge alongside Whoopi Goldberg and Wendy Diamond for the American Humane's Hero Dog Awards on the Hallmark Channel on November 8, 2011. In 1954, as the Betty White Show became national across the United States, White was criticized by many in the southern states for having Arthur Duncan, a black tap dancer, on her variety show and was asked to remove him. In the 2018 documentary Betty White, First Lady of Television, White recalled the threats to take her show off air if we didn't get rid of Arthur because he was black. She refused, saying, he stays. Live with it. That's pretty gangster. I don't care who you are. Like, hey, we're not going to put your show on the air if you keep this guy on. Yeah, well, psst, just got to deal with it, homie. Yo, Betty White came out guns blazing. Betty White just over here standing your ground. Betty White was quite the gangster. In 2017, 63 years after the show was canceled, Duncan appeared as a surprise guest on the series premiere of the reality talent series Little Big Shots Forever Young, where he performed and reunited with White, later thanking her again for her support. A supporter and advocate of LGBT rights, White said that if a couple has been together 
all that time. And there are gay relationships that are more solid than some heterosexual ones. I think it's fine that they want to get married. I don't know how people can get so anti-something. Mind your own business. Take care of your affairs. Don't worry about other people so much. In 2011, White says she always knew her close friend Liberace was gay and that she sometimes accompanied him to premieres. Hey homies, for the record, I don't think this video does Betty White justice. I don't think we really could for someone that has had a career spanning eight decades. However, Betty White, for everything you've done for television, comedy, entertainment, animal rights, equality, racial and gender and just sexual orientation just what you've done for equality in multiple spheres and for american culture and pop culture just culture in general for the world we collectively thank you all right homies y'all be safe i'll catch you on the next one take care